There's no doubt. We've had a triple digit heat all week and we're in for another day today. The good news is we are tracking a few changes that will roll in early tomorrow that will help out our weekend forecast. I'll get to that in a minute, but of course it's Friday. That means it's football Friday for m many areas across Central Texas. If you're heading out to the New Braunfels Canyon versus Lake Travis game, your kickoff temperature 96 degrees, a light south wind and perfect clear skies. You'll definitely need that bottle of water. Right now we're looking at perfect blue conditions out in Bastrop County too. This is our Lost Pine Resort weather net site. You can check it out online, kxan.com. We are in the 90s now already. It is a hot day. We're headed for the triple digits, 103 year high this afternoon. And as you notice here, warm evening ahead as well, 89 uh, by 10 p.m. tonight. Clear skies all the way through. Uh, temperatures across the area still hanging on to the upper 80s in places like Bastrop, LaGrange, Lockhart. Everybody else in the 90s already. 93 in Burnett and Georgetown, and it's 94 right here in Austin. We have clear skies, just a touch of humidity that you might notice uh, in those light winds too. Across the state, we're still looking at that high pressure and control of our pattern, but it won't last long. It's going to change pretty rapidly. For the rest of the day, those clear conditions, but up to our north, cold fronts dropping into the panhandle by this evening. By early tomorrow morning, that cold front's already going to be through Austin. By 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, it's going to be over our eastern counties. And then with that, we'll see uh, those clearing skies through the afternoon. You notice no rain along that front. Unfortunately, the air is just too dry, so it looks like we're going to stay dry. I've taken out all rain chances along it. But that front will bring much breezier conditions in and cooler temperatures. When I say cooler, not cold by any means, but closer to normal this time of year with afternoon highs in the low 90s. It also is bringing in some fire danger. We have a fire weather watch that goes into effect all day tomorrow for much of the area. You notice most of our eastern counties all the way out into the hill country. It's because low humidity combined with the gusty winds give us that high fire danger. This basically means that fires that start are going to be hard to control. You need to make sure that you take extra care tomorrow. Watch where you throw away cigarettes. Make sure you're not dragging anything on the concrete that could cause a spark as you're going down the road either. Our forecast today, 103 degrees, light south winds. Tonight, we'll dip down to around 75. And tomorrow, our high right around 91 degrees. A little bit different there. A couple degrees cooler than what we're experiencing today. But check out our winds out of the north and northeast, 15 to 25 miles an hour. Of course, tomorrow, too, big UT football game against New Mexico. Kickoff temperature a little bit better, 85. We'll still have clear skies and those really breezy conditions. If you're going to be out all day tailgating, it still will be warm. You'll notice that, especially in the sunshine, uh, but at least it won't be as hot as what we're looking at this afternoon. Your seven-day forecast uh, shapes up like this. Temperatures where you really notice the difference with this front will be early Sunday when we st start out in the mid-60s. Same with Monday. And after that, the moisture starts creeping back up. Our afternoon highs and morning temperatures start rising toward the end of next week.